our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about one of the most commonly seen things on the farm. It's grain bins, but not just the grain bins, it's the fans on those grain bins. So as you're driving past a farm here, especially as we go into this fall, you may hear a loud noise. You're hearing these fans blowing into the bins. You say, what are they doing? Why do they have fans that have to blow into the bins? We want to explain why and then also talk about some newer technology that's really helping farmers in their operations. There are two major enemies to stored grain. It's heat and it's moisture. If we've got too much heat, we can certainly see spoilage in the bin. If we have too much moisture, we can see spoilage in the bin. The other thing is when it's warm and moist, it's a perfect environment for insect feeding. So to stop bugs, and to stop any kind of mold or any kind of rot, farmers want to control the temperature inside their grain bins, and they also want to control the moisture percentage. Now, you may say, well, wait a second, why don't they just put cool, dry grain into the bins to begin with? That's easy to say, but it's pretty difficult to do. We can't control what's going on with Mother Nature. We can't control what temperature it is when we're out harvesting. For example, right now, there's a lot of wheat being harvested across the country, and it's pretty warm. It's the middle of the summer. So if it's a 90 degree day, and the wheat is ready to harvest, we got to take it. So when we're taking 90 degree grain and putting it into a grain bin, that's not going to store very long. So it's important for us in the evenings when it cools down to blow some of that cool air into the bin to try to cool the grain down. Also, the grain moisture percentage. If your grain is just a little bit wetter than you would like to store it at, but it's ready to harvest, farmers will go ahead and take that grain out of the field knowing that when the humidity goes down, we can blow some drier air through that grain and try to bring the moisture percentage down as well. Okay, so all of this has been known for many, many years that, hey, if we can just pump some cooler, drier air into that bin, that's a good thing. But the problem is when you're out there trying to do this and as well as a number of other jobs on your farm and you manually have to turn that fan on and you manually have to turn it off and you have to kind of check, well, what is the temperature and what is our relative humidity outside? And then you got to go look at the chart that will tell you, okay, if I've got corn that's 17% moisture and I want to get it down to 14%, if I run that fan right when the temperature's this and the humidity's that, it'll work out perfect. Okay, well, that's all great to say, but who's following charts and running back and forth to their bin all the time? While well, so, they're trying to harvest, while well, they're trying <laughs> right. to get the other jobs done on their farm, while well, they're trying to take care of their family and right. all these other things. Right, so that's where there are starting to be a lot of monitoring systems and basically automatic shutoffs and switch-ons on these fans and also systems where, hey, right off my smartphone, I can double check and see, all right, is my fan on or is it off? What is going on in my farm operation? So like on our own farm, we have put in a system just a year ago from AgriDry and it's really, really helpful because I see every day, hey, when my fan is turning on and shutting off and I know it's done based on my calibrations, my settings, so I want to get that grain down to a certain moisture and my moisture might be a little bit different than your moisture because for me I might be storing my grain for nine months you might be storing your grain for two months so everybody can do kind of their own thing but now we're able to do that with automatic controls it's a really slick deal well the good thing is you can take moisture out or you can put moisture back into the grain legally safely and efficiently let's just say for example you harvested soybeans and it was really dry and the sun was out and the soybeans got down to nine percent moisture well your grain elevator can take soybeans up to 13 percent moisture and in fact they may prefer beans that have a little bit more moisture in them, they may be easier to handle. So you say, wow, I've got 9% beans. If I can run some of the humidity in the air and plump those beans back up to 12% or maybe 13% moisture, that adds more money into the pocket for me. And it also helps out the processor down the road who wants to have a little bit of moisture in those beans so they're easier to handle for him. If you're producing seed beans, for example, this is something that we see seed companies definitely wanting is soybeans in the 12%, 13% moisture range so they don't crack up up before they get to their farmers who are going to plant those beans. Well, here's a system where you can actually bring some of that moisture back into those beans if they got harvested too dry as well. So once again, these fans on grain bins are incredibly important. And just so you understand too how they work, what farmers will do is they'll put in what we would call a false floor. There will be a floor on the bottom of the grain bin that's actually above the cement floor. In that floor, in that false floor, there are holes in there and that's where that air gets pumped through. So the air comes in from underneath and then 
and their vents out the top of that bin. So by using these fans, it allows us as farmers to better store our grain because we can make it cooler, we can get it drier, or in some cases, we might even want to make it wetter and hotter. It all depends on our situation, but with automatic controls, it allows us to do this pretty easily. And you look at the return on investment, if you're adding moisture back in and you get to sell that moisture, well, it's easy to see there's an economic return there. By the same token, if you can avoid having storage problems and have zero damage when your grain goes out, well, that makes you some money there as well. In many cases, we're seeing a one to two year payback on these types of systems. Well, another thing that should make you money on your farm is controlling our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up later in the show.